Less than 24 hours away from kickoff for the 2014 NCAA FCS National Championship between Towson and North Dakota State. Bobby Broyles here along with Tim McDonald, and we're ready to get going here. Final oh, day yes, of sir. preparation, Tim, today. And it began with the lunch banquet early on. Yeah, we had a nice banquet. Uh, both head coaches talked. Both of the teams were here, well represented. You know, Coach Ambrose got up on stage, and it was funny. The, f the first thing, he was pretty speechless. He got up there mm -hmm. to say a few words, and he, he just still can't believe that they're here. Towson's here, and they're ready for the yep. game. Uh, uh, also, the interesting thing I thought he, he talked about, you know, th there's a lot, th maybe a couple of games on Saturday, but this is going to be easily the best matchup, the best mm -hmm. 60 minutes of football taking place on Saturday. We also saw Tim Brown, former Heisman winner. He, uh, the, the speech that he talked about, Bob, was just, you know, you don't get that many opportunities to, to showcase your talents. Yep. And both players and both teams and both coaches, everyone's going to get their shot on Saturday. Should be an exciting matchup on Saturday. And then we headed right over to Toyota Stadium and final practice right outside the stadium. Both teams had practice today. Mm -hmm. Both teams had press conferences. And, you know, I went over to the practice and shot some video of the practice. It was very interesting. Rob Ambrose in the huddle before practice began, you know, the speech was pretty clear that it's time to focus. The He called the so-called carousel the circus is now <laughs> over it's time to get dialed in Alan. and get ready to go so it's strictly business yep. over at practice today for Towson and then and that's where we also got to catch up with a former Towson player right now Chicago Bears offensive lineman Jermon Bushrod and this is what he had to say about his Tigers this is great for this for this team for this you know uh, for the university um, this is our first time here uh, for the players and the coaches to be in a situation like this it's pretty special I mean, it's, it's, this is what it's about. It's a new experience. It's a new experience, something that, uh, you know, uh, this university hasn't seen. Like I said earlier, the alumni hasn't seen. So it's all going to be new to us, but it's all, we're all coming together for a good cause. We're coming together to see these guys uh, continue their hard work and, and continue to execute their, their goals because everything is still right in front of them. It would be a pretty special weekend if these guys can come away with a W. And Tim, it was great to see Jermon Bushrod and several former Towson players, fans out there and parents of the players were at this open practice. It had to be uplifting for the team to see that. Uh, Coach Same. Ambrose told the team after they break, for, broke for that final practice to go, say thank you to those fans who have been following them, not just to Frisco, but all the way out to Eastern Washington yep. and now, you know, the final destination here in Frisco. But now the players and the coaches after the practice headed into the side of Toyota Stadium for their final press uh, press conference. Yeah, we talked with Coach Ambrose, saw him there. Uh, you know, a lot of the players and the thousand players, like you mentioned, you know, it's great to have these festivities and everything going on. I think the players are just ready for the game to start. You know, Absolutely. they said they love being here and they love the environment, but it's just, it's go time. We're ready to go. You know, it's interesting. We heard the North Dakota State team talk and it, it is a talk about physicality. They said if, if any team matches up physically with North Dakota State, it's probably going to be Towson. You know, you heard Coach Craig Bull talk about Terrence West. They've seen a lot of good backs. They've probably never seen a back like Terrence. Mm -hmm. And then you, you look at the Towson players. I, th I think they're just excited for the challenge, but at the end of the day, they're ready to go. Absolutely. And then we wrapped up our day with the Towson Fan Fest. Uh, and it was great to see where we got to catch up with several of Towson's administration. And this is what they had to say leading up to tomorrow's game. Well, it, it's kind of surreal uh, for me having just started uh, at, at Towson back in August and having moved to Towson from the Dallas area. So to come back here uh, in this fashion and to see all these fans and, and to be a part of this, it's really been a, a surreal trip. It's just the coolest thing in the world. It really is. Just to be here with the team for a couple of days, get to know them, watch how all this works, all the hoopla and excitement, and watching Towson Kind of, kind of rise to a national level of recognition. It's fabulous. We, the young men take seriously the representing the um, the conference and Towson and the university and the state of Maryland, and they're walking around with a kind of quiet confidence, a lot of focus, and a lot of humility, which is very refreshing when you put all that together. I am so proud of them. No, it's it's great for the program. It's great for the university. Um, you know, we haven't had historically. Uh, a lot of tradition of winning that has been uh, here recent. It's been it's spiked over the years, and uh, we want to make this an annual occurrence. And the university is committed to that, to having an athletics program that can can contend uh, nationally. And uh, now that we're here, and they get a taste of it, we definitely want to keep this going. So that's what makes it fun. Tim, it was a fitting ending to see Tiger Nation get together over at the Fan Fest and get loud and proud and ready to go for tomorrow. Yeah, I think it, you know it's obvious that Bison Nation showed up to Frisco, but I, you also have to give credit. I think Towson's going to represent as well on Saturday. 
North Dakota State, Towson, Saturday afternoon, 2 p.m. on ESPN2. Make sure to tune in and also continue to follow us here on CA.TV, yep. CAFootball.com, and CAFootball.wordpress.com. And all of our social media outlets will have plenty of coverage here tomorrow of the national championship game. For Tim McDonald, I'm Bobby Broyles. Get ready for tomorrow, folks.